Welcome back everyone. Today I wanted to talk about pooping on your eggs. And this is an interesting defense mechanism that was talked about in uh, Ecological Entomology from the Royal Entomological Society. This was just recently published. Uh, and this is a defense mechanism in some beetles, particularly Chrysomelids, uh, where they will put fecal strings on to eggs in order to deter predators. So in this paper, uh, the authors looked at a series of defense mechanisms and how they interact. In this particular paper, they were they mostly looked at uh, amassing eggs with these fecal strings and how it influenced predation. This paper looked at Gallaricella lineolata, which is one of the beetles known to do this. This is a chrysomelid leaf beetle that primarily feeds on uh, willow. And then it, they also looked at another Gallaricella that didn't uh, have this behavior of putting fecal strings and compared the predation of clean and unclean eggs uh, by a staphylinid, so a rove beetle that is common in the air, uh, common with these guys. So with eggs, you have this issue uh, that they're not mobile, so they're completely at the mercy of the environment and they're at the mercy of predators and things like that. So insects have a number of different defenses. Some will scatter their eggs wildly uh, or kind of conceal them like stick insects do, where you never find more than one egg in a place, uh, or they'll conceal them in some way, like under bark or things like that. Others, like mantises and roaches, produce oothica, which are calcium coverings for the eggs that act as armor. Uh, sometimes chemical defenses are deposited on the surface of the eggs. But one thing that a lot of insects do is amass eggs. So they'll lay multiple eggs in the same area, and this, is, this idea is... This amassing is to deter predators via satiation. Basically, some of the eggs are sacrificed to the predator, but it's unlikely that the predator will eat all of the eggs. But with these chrysomelids, some species will put these fecal strings on the eggs. And there are multiple thoughts about what this does. Uh, it may increase uh, larval survival overall by allowing uh, the newly hatched larvae access to gut microbes. But as far as antipredation, it's thought maybe it offers some sort of armored chewing defense, or maybe it offers some sort of chemical or biological defense, like bacterial infection defense. But one way or another, it seems to deter predators, particularly chewing predators. So in this paper, what they primarily were interested in is what is the effect of these fecal strings combined with a massing of eggs. So if you have small numbers of eggs with fecal strings versus large numbers of eggs together with fecal strings versus uh, numbers of eggs variable with no fecal strings. So they they both had the Gallaricella lineolata with the fecal strings. They also cleaned off some of the eggs and then they used Gallaricella sagittariae, which doesn't produce fecal strings for their eggs. And then they compared uh, the survival rates when a predator was introduced into the system. I'm not a huge fan of how this uh, this graph looks, but basically the black line, the black dots, and the black line are the uh, survival rates for the eggs with fecal strings, and the red is the is the survival rates for eggs without the fecal strings. And overall, there was no effect of aggregate defense. So this is putting the eggs together. Uh, for the overall survival of uh, the beetle eggs without the fecal strings. The fecal strings alone didn't have a huge effect on survival as well, but the combined effect of the fecal strings with the aggregation seemed to dissuade predators. So they, by themselves, it's not, uh, neither of these are very strong defenses, but combined when you lay all your eggs together and then poop all over them, it seems to dissuade the predation, which I guess in my mind makes sense. Who wants to eat all that poop? But uh, this was the overall conclusion. It's a very short paper. It's just a short communication and I'll link it in the description and I'll talk to you guys later.